All right, so let's begin by saying that this is the anterior aspect of the brain. And if I turn it around, you'll be able to appreciate that this is the posterior aspect of the brain. Well, how do we know this? This is called the cerebellum. So let's start um, identifying some structures. Um, let's talk about the lobes. So this is the frontal lobe, all of this. Right here, you have the parietal lobes. Um, this one is the temporal lobe, the occipital lobe. And the and this one right here, this is called the insula. So all of this, that's your insula. For you to identify this, um, you need to take off this structure right here. And it's deep. That's the insula. So now let's talk about the structures and landmarks. All right, so this right here, that's called the longitudinal fissure. And it's very long. This one right here that goes from side to side, this is called the central sulcus. This one, it goes by two names. The old school name that's called the Sylvian fissure, and now they're calling it the lateral sulcus. It is important to mention that the raised portions of the brain, these, the little mountains, those are called the gyrus or gyri. One is plural, one is singular. And the indentations, those shallow depressions, the ones that look like this, all of these, those are called sulci or sulcus. Again, one is singular, the other one is plural. All right, so now let's start identifying some structures of the brain. Let's put this aside. All right, I'm going to zoom in. All right, so let's start identifying some structures. First of all, all of this, that's called your cerebrum. And this right here, that's your cerebellum. So cerebrum and cerebellum. All right, so this right here, that's called the corpus callosum. All of this. That's the corpus callosum. This is the anterior commissure. And that's the posterior commissure. So corpus callosum, anterior commissure, posterior commissure. Let's talk about this. If your professor asks you for the space, the space is the lateral ventricle. However, if your professor asks you for the structure, this is called the septum pellucidum. Septum means a partition or a wall. So it acts like a wall from this side of the brain fr um, from the other half of the brain. So structure is the septum pellucidum. The space is the lateral ventricle. So corpus callosum, anterior commissure, posterior commissure, the space, lateral ventricle, the structure, septum pellucidum. Let's take a look at number 12. This is called the fornix. The fornix makes the floor of the lateral ventricle. It, the fornix also is a part of the limbic system. All right, so fornix. This right here, this pink peachy color, 26, this is resembling your choroid plexus, specialized cells that are called ependymal cells or ependymal cells, however you want to pronounce it. The main function of these cells is to create cerebral spinal fluid, CSF. All right. So we talked about the corpus callosum, the space being the lateral ventricle, the structure is the septum pellucidum. The fornix makes the floor of the lateral ventricle. This is the choroid plexus. Let's take a look at the, this is the anterior commissure, posterior commissure at 23. This structure right here, this is called the pineal gland. All right. The pineal gland is responsible to secrete melatonin. Melatonin is going to give you that drowsy state. So when you want to fall uh, asleep, um, melatonin has to kick in. All right, so let's talk about this right here. This is your thalamus. This is your hypothalamus. 22 is called the interthalamic adhesion or interthalamic mass. The word inter means in between. Thalamic is referring to the thalamus and adhesion is just the connection. All right, so thalamus hypothalamus, interthalamic adhesion. All of this space, that's your third ventricle. So the lateral ventricle is here, if she's, uh, if your professor's is um, asking for the space. This space, that's the third ventricle. All right, so let's take a look at the hypothalamus. 
Um, this structure right here, that's called the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland and the hypothalamus have a connection via the infundibulum. So the infundibulum is this structure right here, and it's connecting the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus. So there's a direct connection. All right, so we said that this was a lateral ventricle, third ventricle, this space right here, that's your fourth ventricle. All right, so to get from the third ventricle to the fourth, you go by this route. This is called, this is, it goes by two names. You say the aqueduct of the midbrain or the cerebral aqueduct. If you give either or both names, you should be fine. So lateral ventricle, third ventricle, fourth ventricle. How do you get to the fourth? Well, you take the cerebral aqueduct or the aqueduct of the midbrain. All right. So number, so we said that this is the pituitary gland, and this is the infundibulum, and this is the hypothalamus. Number 24, this round structure, this is called the mammillary body. And it's a bilateral structure, meaning that you have one here, and also on this half, it's right here, right there. All right, so mammillary body, right there. So as we coming as we're going down right here, you're gonna see this structure right here. So you have one bump and one bump at the bottom. If I put these half together, you should be able to appreciate that there's one bump on the top on this half, and another bump on the top on this half. Oh, sorry, and another bump on the top as this half as well. So you also have the inferior bump here and also on this side, right there. So now, these four bumps, one, two, three, four, collectively are called your corpora quadrigemina. The two bumps on the top are called the superior colliculi. So you have one on this top and the other one to the other half. The superior colliculi are responsible for your visual reflexes, while the inferior colliculi are responsible for your auditory reflexes. All right, so as we're moving down, we said that this space was the fourth ventricle. Let's take a look at this structure. So this was your cerebellum and they cut it for you this way. So you can appreciate this structure, this white matter, that's called the arbor vitae which translates from Latin to the tree of life. And it resembles a tree. It's a beautiful structure. All right. So now let's take a look at this right here. This is the pons. A way that you can remember, it's making that little P. Do you see that? That's the pons. All right. So this is the pons. Inferior, this region, that's your medulla oblongata. Right there. So pons and medulla oblongata. If I turn the brain this way, let me take this one. You should be able to appreciate, if I put this together, number 33 on this side, and this side doesn't have a number, but this, those are your cerebral peduncles. I hope you can see that. 33 on this side and nothing marked on this side. That's your cerebral peduncles. All right, so cerebr oh, cerebral peduncle, pons, medulla oblongata. All of this, that's your cerebrum, and this is your cerebellum. By the way, the folds on your cerebellum are called folia. Folia are the folds, right there. And that's it.